One of you um, asked me, and so I, I'm like, oh yeah, I should make sure, because it fits with what I was thinking, to uh, comment on the Richmond North of Richmond. Great song. Absolutely fantastic song. Uh, from uh, an Americana stand uh, point of view, uh, good, solid, just folk slash country song, unbelievably well made. Great lyrics, simple. I mean, it's going to be a hit forever. That it, it is one of those songs that it's going to be a hit forever. It's going to be one of these songs remembered from this era. And it's going to be remembered so easily because it's so well put together. Like, there's lines in it that there's going to be people who they'll remember lines from it for years. And so if anybody ever brings the song up, they'll be able to just say the line. You know, like people can do that with Cash or, um, oh my gosh, and it's gone. What Hank Williams, there we go. And, you know, or the very various, various uh, gentlemen of the Williams family. And uh, Willie Nelson, I mean, Willie Nelson, I mean, it's just, he's, he's like the master of that. You know, just these, you know, you, you left me a long, long time ago is one of those songs. Like, I mean, just, that's, that's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um, but that's the whole thing, is it's supposed to have that quality that's like a, almost conversational. You know, so it has that quality of, of riding on a horse, riding on a wagon slowly walking slowly someplace um so one of the things i was thinking about with the uh richmond north of richmond ooh, that is a fly rig you gotta see this again that's that dope dude and so uh, <laughs> uh so the richmond north of richmond the thing that um i was thinking about was um the the it's interesting what he mentions when, because of the Tidewater Chevalier. The, these people who, the first colonies uh, in that region, you end up getting these people who are those types of British people that they had descended from <coughs> Norman, uh, Norman conquerors. So they had this Norman culture behind them and, and still very heavily stood by that. Um, and that ends up making a group that is the, kind of their own unique bunch in the colonial world. But also one of the things is that eventually this becomes a, the, the, the military is always a part of what they're, they're always... They're very into the military, you know, for a long, long time, for hundreds of years. Um, and so the production of uh, weapons, and that, so that area of the country becomes this area of that, that, I mean, you could tell if America's at war, or you could tell how war is going, in, in a way, because you could see what, what, how expensive the cars are being bought in that part of the country is. You can see what people are spending on and, and know, know how uh, military contracting is going. Um, so it's interesting and he, he brings that up because then what he represents is the other people who were there who weren't the Tidewater Chevalier. And these are the people of the, these are the greater Appalachians. These are the Scots-Irish descendant people who were cleared from um, the Scottish uh, Highlands, if I remember right, and uh, and and brought here. Uh, I'd have to look that up again. I, I get that wrong uh, every so often. That's one of the areas that's a little fuzzier uh, on the details. But we, and when we we call them Scots Irish, that's not that name doesn't exist there. The way the reference, it, 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 but it is referring to the group that they were in Northern Ireland, had to go back to Scotland, end up getting cleared from Scotland, things like that. It was something along those lines. Um, and that's why we have that name for them. But it is, it's Ulster, Northern Irish, that, 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 uh, that, that kind of ethnic milieu. 
Um, and so it was this, I thought that was, it was interesting. So we, th this is a group that we're allowed in America to look heavily down upon. Um, you know, that, that, yeah, the, and the, the true kind of American salt of the earth, really. Um, yeah, these people who we, it, it kind of couldn't work without them. Um, and... And we wouldn't win wars without them, to a great extent. Um, this is a group that now, it's, it's very popular to, to shit on. And the, losing them is, is, is the whole thing. And so what, in uh, history, as far as, like, you get all these lefties saying this and that, okay, these are the, the ethnicity that all of those stories about unions and unions doing this, and the coal mines, and blah, blah, blah. Well, that guy, what the group he represents, that's who they are. And these are no longer people that appreciate these communists representing them. And, and, and they, you know, they, the John Brown Gun Club does not represent them. Um, at this stage, one of the things that I, I've been thinking about with the Democrats is they have this one, this, this one thing that they're hanging on to with January 6th when there's this, anyone who's even remotely aware knows that there's this tremendous amount of information that is fundamentally not really being used in, in evidence. The government is hiding and has been caught hiding evidence. Um, They've, uh, they, there's footage that n nobody, you know, that you, they would have to go through all the footage. We, we know there's all these parties that need to go through the footage, show people the footage. That's really one of the greatest weaknesses of all this is that nobody's allowing that footage to be trolled through, um, by, uh, by, by a civilian army of, of autists. Uh, but it's because so many of us, you know, did do enough screen capping that there's all kinds of stuff that happened that was real mysterious like why were all there why were there these protesters quote unquote who got inside and started changing their clothes that's one that nobody wants to talk about how why why were the doors opened by uh, the central uh, econo electronic lock system all that kind of stuff you know real odd how that happened what a what a weird Winky dinky doodle do that it just happened to work that way. Well, oh, and, and and Nancy Pelosi's daughter was there to film it all. Wow, fancy that, man. That's and so because that's just such phony baloney and looks so full of shit that uh, I, I think that you know the Democrats really are starting to have the problem of well, you're kind of phony motherfuckers who are full of shit and. Uh, and then the greater left now, now because of uh, surveys being done, these people starting to become clear, like they believe in using political violence. So that really means you're not really a political party. They're really these people who can't really make anything work if it was just them alone, if it was only their party. Single party rule, they would f their, their society would fail very quickly, as is seen by most of the places in the country that they have single party rule over. They pretty much seem to exist almost with this uh, idea of, well, no, we exist so as to make other people do what we want. Our party exists to force other people through coercion and if not open coercion by calling up some masked goon squad. We slowly machinate against you by keeping you out of banks, keeping you out of jobs. We'll, we'll do anything to anybody who disagrees with our party. They, they're showing this pretty clearly that this is really the kind of people the party attracts that that and that when caught when this is on videotape when there's overwhelming evidence of this it still isn't happening and which is the best that's the part that really i'm actually really glad keeps happening what, what are you guys talking about that's not even happening you're just making things up 
That's the part that I like the best. I think some of you get that too. Because then when there's like some, when, when the Wall Street Journal or the New York Times has to admit once again the stuff the right wing was saying was completely correct. And now we're having to admit it. That's, the, that's what's so delicious. Is over and over again doing the we were right. You all are, are, are both you're stupid and dishonest and incorrect and inaccurate and you know and uh without any honor you know without any principle we we keep being able to do this because it's it, it that's how it, because well that's what the left is doing the right can keep doing the we're better than you dance because we are we we play the game according to the rules everybody agreed to you guys do nothing but break those rules and we still keep showing that you couldn't have you can't compete without cheating and uh and and it's so in in yeah that a big part of that's a big part of why that song is so popular they can't win without cheating in anything in any regard, in any space, without lying or making it up, like gender and queer theory, without making it up and then forcing people to say, this is real, it's totally real, or don't hurt me. You know, that's why they were the party of the Ku Klux Klan. They don't have never really changed at a fundamental deep level of the kind of personality type that joins that party and is a fervent member of it. People who think that who believe in the use of force and then wrapping it in paper like it's a set of ideas you just got hit with a bunch of ideas is there uh that is is the uh yeah is what what fundamentally they are so later